great day and has a great rest of your week okay so today I want to get back in to the dream I had a few days ago in a couple of videos back I randomly brought up a dream that I had just had and I really thought on it and I think I kind of understand a little bit more what God was trying to tell me so okay let's get into this and see let's see all right guys okay so as I said, I had a dream. And in this dream, the setting was an old childhood friend's house. And I used to stay with her all the time. Julie, if you watch these videos, I don't know if you do or not, but if you do, it was at your house on 2nd Street in Wellston. This is where my dream took place, which is crazy. But I was in her house. And... It's like everyone was getting ready for a wedding. And it's just so crazy. Like at one point in time, I thought a bridesmaid was actually the bride, but I found out it wasn't. Like I'm like, oh no, that's the bridesmaid. But she looked like the bride. And I believe God was trying to tell me something like, Satan can look like the angel of light, but it doesn't mean that it is an angel of light. So I believe that had a little bit of meaning towards that and again I was standing in a window by her door her front door and all of a sudden my hair gets yanked back by something I couldn't see which is creepy as all get up but I believe God's telling me you don't ride the fence you either have your faith on me or you're with the enemy there's you can't do both no you can't serve two gods. And I believe that's what he was telling me. I'm so close to coming back. You are in the spiritual warfare every day in the flesh because, because he knows it's the end. He knows that his time is being cut short. He knows that he can't have God's people. We're saved and sealed. We're saved and sealed. So he can't have us. But he's going to do everything he can to try to wreck us. But... I've been watching um, a lot of of Chelsea's and Chrissy and Flora's videos, and I know that they are all in a group chat. They bring it up all the time, well, Chelsea does, and they've been getting some really significant signs and and dreams and and just God speaking to their hearts and are being revealed amazing things. So go check that out. Go check out Chelsea's video. She just posted a not very long ago today, but it's insane the things that are being revealed today. And just like in my dream, I feel like we're so close to the return of our Savior, but the spiritual, the spiritual battle, I'll say, is going on. And although I couldn't see what was pulling my hair, I knew it was something bad. I knew that it was the enemy attacking me, even though I was preparing for this beautiful wedding. See what I mean? And I didn't even really realize that right away. Like, I was just making a video like I always do and brought it up. And, like, in the video, it hits me. And you can see, like, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Is this significant? Does this have meaning? And I believe it did. I, I do. But anyway, you guys, I want to remind you, tonight we are going to have a mass prayer. I'm going to say around 8.30 Eastern Time. I'm in Ohio, so 8.30 Ohio Time. Um, I would love for you guys to join in with me. It's not going to be live. I just, everyone pray at 8.30. Everyone pray. And if, like Inga, you are in Oregon, so it'll be like 5.30 your time, but 8.30 my time. So you guys figure out what time that is and join in. China needs so much prayer. And even the U.S. is getting hit with cases of this virus left and right. We need Jesus. And all this going on points to him. He's coming. Yeah, David posted. 
praise from stampering lips and weakness. I'll watch your video in just a second, but we're so close. So you guys, we've got, even though this virus is terrible and it breaks me in half seeing these people suffer and die. It also has meaning because it means our Savior is that much closer. You guys, we need to buckle our seatbelts because we're about to take flight. He's coming. And we're down to seconds now. I believe he will be back any second. Do I know the day or hour? Absolutely not. I don't claim to know. But I do know that Jesus said that he would give us signs in the heavens, that there would be things going on that are actually going on right now, like this virus, like the fires, like the earthquakes, all of that has meaning to the end time prophecies. They're being fulfilled. They're jumping off the pages of the Bible in our faces. We've got to open our eyes. We have to remove that veil and know that the only thing that saves us is the Lord. No works can save us. No works can save us. Jesus nailed our king, nailed to a cross. No one bowed before him. No one. And why did he do it? Because he was paying our sin debt in full. He said, it is finished. We would never have been able to afford to pay that debt in full for ourselves. It took a very special man to do that. And that man is Jesus Christ. And... And he said, it is finished. It is finished. The debt has been paid. My people are saved. Have faith in me and you shall have eternal life through my name's sake. <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing. Jesus is amazing and he's coming and he's closer than ever. This is how I always think of it. This is how I explain it to my daughter because she's only nine years old. Okay. I'm like, okay, Kylie, say mommy's across the world and I'm driving to come pick you up. You know I'm coming. You know I'm coming. You know you've got some time to prepare to pack your bags because you know you're leaving. Your mom's picking you up. Same with Jesus. We know he's on, our way, on his way. We need to get packed up and ready to go. So... Anyway, again, you guys, please join me in the prayer tonight, 830, and share this with anyone you know. Please, we need to get as many people praying as possible. Call your families, call your doctor, call your, your attorney if you have one. Call your neighbor. Go out in the fields and ask the horses to bow down and pray for these people in China that are sick. We need all the prayer we can get. Anyway, I love you guys so much, and I will be back on here in a little bit. We're going to read some scripture before we start to pray tonight. And again, go check out Chelsea and, and Chrissy and Flora, their, their channels and their videos, because they've got amazing things coming in too. I love you all so much. I do. I love you so much. And I'm so excited. The spirit is overwhelming in this house today because we know that our Savior is at the door and he's coming any second to take his bride. So you guys get excited and you, you watch. You watch for his return. He wants us to be watching. We will be rewarded for that. I love you guys so much. Remember prayer tonight, 830. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Actually, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll be back. I love you guys. Bye.